Rivian jumped 36% last week after Volkswagen announced it was investing $5 billion in the company. Shares have fallen back slightly, taking the company's market cap to $14 billion. With $7.9 billion of cash and investments on its balance sheet and $4.4 billion of debt, the enterprise value is just under $11 billion. The fundamentals for Rivian don't look good. Gross margins are sharply negative at minus 41%. Over the past four quarters, for every dollar Rivian has made in revenue, it's lost more than a dollar in free cash flow. Revenue might have grown to $5 billion over the last 12 months, but earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation and amortisation is negative $3.8 billion, and free cash flow at negative $5.6 billion is even worse. Adding to the concerns is Rivian's balance sheet. The company's pile of cash and investments is enough to cover just six quarters at the current rate of cash burn. And when you consider Rivian is guiding for growth of just 14% this year, the stock looks like an obvious avoid. It's not surprising that investors are shorting the stock with a short interest over 18%. But as bad as the numbers look, it's worth remembering that automotive manufacturing is capital intensive and it takes time for startups to build up the scale needed. Tesla, after all, took 18 years to turn its first profit. Rivian is 14 years old and thinks profitability is not far away. The company expects a positive gross margin in the fourth quarter and a full year of positive EBITDA in 2027. The company's R2 platform, announced last year, can reduce costs further. Meanwhile, the partnership with Volkswagen is crucial. It gives Rivian $5 billion in liquidity through the sale of common stock and convertible equity alongside cash payments. Combined with lower costs, Volkswagen's cash should give Rivian a good chance of getting to profits. Second, the agreement is a validation of Rivian's technology, highlighting the value of the company's IP. And there's no doubt that consumers do like Rivian's trucks. All things considered, the risk of bankruptcy for Rivian has weakened. But that doesn't mean the company necessarily merits the current market cap, because there's still plenty that could go wrong. Just like every other EV company, Rivian is dealing not only with intense competition, but intense pricing. Chinese automakers are producing vehicles at significantly lower prices. Rivian stock slumped earlier this year when Ford lowered sticker prices on its F-150 Lightning. With such a difficult environment, there's a chance the market consolidates to just a few of the biggest players, and that is unlikely to include Rivian. However, Rivian has built a strong platform and given itself its best chance to succeed. Whether or not the company can provide returns to shareholders is a bit harder to say. Rivian still has a lot to do, which means the stock should remain a volatile one. But these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I hold no shares in Rivian. For more investing videos, make sure to visit my website at freeminutebreakdowns.com. Thank you for watching.